G'day viewers, I'm just uh, at a job which I thought I'd record and uh, try and give you a bit of a heads up on the difference between premium quality products and budget shitty products in the solar industry. Um, so this particular property, the inverter has failed um, and the property is for sale. So I'm here to replace the inverter uh, so the property can go through settlement without any issues. Now, when you're buying a solar system, you're typically going to be offered a premium product and either a mid-range product or a premium product. Now, the difference in cost when you're actually purchasing the product, the solar system initially, is pretty minimal between, say, a budget shitty inverter and shitty solar panels and a mid-range one. But the difference is, is when you look at your payback period, the payback period can be quite short on the cheap system. But what happens if that inverter fails? Okay, which is what's happened here. So this system's not that old. Um, I'd say it's probably about five years old, but I've seen these grow watt inverters fail in as little as 12 months um, on the new range of inverters. Uh, this is an older one. Um, so this system's probably just gotten to the point where it's reached its payback period and the, the customers would own the solar system. They would have paid for it by now, but now the inverter's failed. So for me to replace the inverter it's going to cost them around seventeen hundred dollars um, and that's for another inverter which isn't a you know, premium one it's just a relatively mid-range one um, but that can completely blow the buyback period uh, sorry the payback period on their solar system um, so it's something to be mindful of when you're buying a system if you know these these cheap shitty inverters have their place in the market um, but it's only for like things like this where it's got to be replaced because the property's sold um, So they don't care what happens outside of you know three months um, But if you if you're buying a system be mindful of that because if the inverter fails and you're up for say $1,500 $1,700 to replace the inverter then That has made that cheap system that you bought initially now really quite expensive because it wouldn't have been $1,700 more to upspec it to a good quality inverter in the first place. Um, even with, you can argue, okay, well the Grow Watt inverter's got five years warranty um, as, a, as opposed to Fronius or SMA that have 10 years. That's fine. But like with another client I'm dealing with at the moment with a Grow Watt inverter who's trying to make a warranty claim, um, and I have myself been down this path, it's a nightmare because the installer won't want to know about it because he was just the installer. The retailer has quite possibly folded and is no longer trading. So now what you're left with is employing someone like myself, a third party, to come in and replace the inverter or try and make a warranty claim on your behalf. And dealing with Grow Watt is an absolute nightmare. They, they will do everything they can to get out of a warranty claim and they would just give you that much run around that in the end uh you just you'd be frustrated and you just bite the bullet and just pay for a new one um so that's the difference between a budget shitty inverter such as the grow watt and a premium quality product it's not just the performance of the product it's and it's not how long it's going to last it's going to last a lot longer with a premium one but it's the service that you get from that product so sma fronius Solar Edge, all those sort of products, they all have a big presence in Australia and you're gonna get a, a decent service and your, an, your emails are gonna be answered and hopefully your warranty process will go through quite quite smoothly. So keep that in mind, it, you know, this is the sort of thing, they just don't last. This is just cheap, shitty connectors. Um, they're plastic, they snap off as soon as you try and unplug them. And um, yeah, just crappy. That one was quite tight, but these ones were broken off when I got here. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind, guys. It's worth spending a little bit of extra money up front if you're going to be in your house for longer than five years. Because uh, if the system fails, it's going to cost you a whole lot more money. Right out. Cheers for watching. Bye now.